sun's coming up, so it's time to get working. So today the goal is to sand everything, apply a fairing compound, let that cure, and then ferret. And then hopefully either tonight or else tomorrow morning we'll start the painting. So this is the repair we made at the top of the rudder. So this area where the cloth isn't even wet, that's all going to get trimmed off when we sand it down. And then we just have to smooth it up. And then there's other areas, like over here, where there's just little blebs where we just put the thickened epoxy in. Uh, we just have to knock those blebs off. So we're just going to get everything trimmed up and then we'll build it back up in fairing compound, which is easier to sand and sculpt. to Herbie as he applies it. And I'll be smearing it on and getting it all set. So, yep. Yeah, so she'll be mixing duty, I'll be smearing duty. And that's our morning. So we ran to West Marine for a paint trip. We're gonna repaint the whole uh, bottom. So that's our plan for later today. But for now, we're gonna get some lunch while we wait for this to continue hardening. And you can see it's doing pretty well. It's almost done. And then Herbie will sand and it'll be great. All right, so all the fairing compound we've put on is rock solid. So I'm gonna sand it down, get everything fared up. And then Maddie's gonna come out after that and she's gonna paint the bottom paint on. Hopefully we should be done with the bottom work today, which is pretty sweet. We started with black bottom paint so that when we are cleaning the bottom and we see the color change, we know that it's time to haul out and add another layer of ablative paint. So the quadrant from Edson came in, so we're going to get it unboxed and then make sure everything fits well and we'll get that bolted up. So I know I am currently covered in a lot of bottom paint, I was helping Maddie, and we both got covered in it because don't pour bottom paint if it's windy. All right, so we have our new quadrant.
case you guys are ever wondering, how do you paint under where those stands were and those blocks of wood are against the hall? And how do you get under there? So the simple answer is they pick you up in slings before they put you in the water and they take the stands out of the way. And then like there was a stand right here. So you just paint that square and then you let it dry a little bit and then you go in the water. That's it. up north is closed we can't get out to the inlet this is about as far as we can go we're just north of the Lake Worth bridge in a cute little anchorage we're gonna hang out here for like four days until that other bridge opens up and we can go through it was pretty easy getting here so That's so much. This here is a Bursera tree, and it's affectionately called the tourist tree. We're in this anchorage, and something keeps hitting us. Thanks so much for watching. And if you want to become a sailing buddy, you can click the link down below to our Patreon account. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And when you click subscribe, make sure you click on the little bell in the annotation. That way, you get notifications as soon as our next video is uploaded. Thanks so much.